Okay, so we want to record our lecture. There's two ways we can do that. The first is we can go directly into the PowerPoint program. And you'll notice that I've got the window open with my presentation ready. And there's a few buttons. These are add-ins from Camtasia. This allows you to determine whether you want to record audio, camera for later picture in picture, uh, and some camera settings. This record button is what begins the recording. The second way that I can record my lecture is to use one of the tools that's incorporated into Camtasia Studio and that's called Camtasia Recorder. Now Camtasia Recorder allows me to select a fixed region of the screen that I want to capture and bring in as, as part of my lecture. So what I've done in this demonstration is I'm actually uh, recording a fixed region that includes the Camtasia recorder window so that you can see you know what the different features look like. On the right here I have my PowerPoint window and behind that I have my Evernote window. That's a free program that you can use with the Wacom pad. When I'm ready to begin I hit the record button which is normally red here. It begins the recording and this window for me is bounded by a green box. So I can go through my PowerPoint uh, normally. I can also flip to this window now and I can do uh, you know different drawings. I can select different colors and that's how I do my equation and drawing in my lectures. I can bring the window back. Uh, you'll notice there's some different features up here. All of these allow you to select different cursors, highlighting, do uh, panning, zooming these features are always available to you as you're going through your lecture. Once you're completed you hit the stop button or F10 on the keyboard and then the recording is saved and you can bring that into the editor which is what I'll show you next. Okay this is where the fun begins. You've recorded your lecture and now you want to edit the lecture. And by, by edit, I really mean put it together. Put the different parts together and add titles and transitions to it. It doesn't take that much effort, but it makes a much more professional lecture. Uh, so here I'm in Camtasia Studio. And from here, you basically just import your videos. Now I've taken a few videos to demonstrate this. Uh, there's my lecture part one and now I'm going to bring in my lecture part two. Before I do that I'm gonna uh, go into a different mode where I can zoom in a little easier. So now I've got my first video. I want to bring in my crystal growth video and that now is in uh, my clip bin. I'm gonna bring in the last part of my lecture and now I have all of these different parts in my clip bin. Now what you need to do is create a story. So you drag these parts down to your timeline. And we've got two parts here. We've got our lecture video and then we have our picture in picture and I'll get back to that in a moment. We also need to drag our crystal growth down. I'm going to unzoom a bit and then I'm going to bring my second part down. Now I have my three videos. My first part, my second part, my third part. One thing I'd like to do is add transitions. I can do that by just dragging these different types of transitions down between my clips. And then I'm finished. And now I want to adjust my picture in picture. So I click on the picture in picture and then I select which part I want to adjust. Now in the replay window I can see my picture is here. I don't really like it in the bottom right corner. So I'm going to move it up here and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Um, some people don't really want to sit there and watch me the whole time so I can, I can adjust that. Okay. So now I'm done. I can also uh, fade my picture in and out at any time that I want. and. Uh, that's the movie. Now, down here in the timeline, you can scroll through to any part in the video and look 
in the replay window to see how that video is going to look. But okay, we'll assume that this video is done. The last thing you need to do is produce video as, and this is a, a wizard driven uh, production utility. So you choose what you want to create your video as, and you go through these different settings, setting all of the audio and uh, video encoding. I'm sure there'll be a standard for this at some point. Now let's take a look at the final product. This is an example lecture. So you can see what it looks like to uh, the students or see what the final recording looks like. Uh, this is actually a good example. This is a page that I've scanned from my textbook and uh, perhaps I want to zoom in on that region. So I can do that just like that. I can also choose different cursors and I can draw on the screen so maybe I want to highlight some of these and I'll go through my slides and I've got a nice little movie demonstration here for the crystal growing from an initial seed of the crystal to something much, much larger. We're back from the movie. Uh, here's another uh, selected page from my text. I wanted to uh, use this as an example. Uh, you can also switch to the Wacom pad and uh, this makes it a little easier to write. Like I might want to say, uh, you know, actually Use my drawing tool that uh, this here is this wavelength is 532 nanometers. A little hard to write with the mouse, a little easier with the Wacom pad. Uh, you can also switch to a blank pad. Now, this is Evernote, the program Evernote. And, you know, I've chosen this background because it, it sort of looks like engineering rule, but I can you know, draw my graphs, I can choose different colors. And you get the idea.